Hello everyone and welcome back to my journey of creating a city builder game from scratch using my own engine. I'm documenting the entire process from the very start all the way up to release and this week I'm going to be working on adding some buildings into the game. So it's been a little while since the last devlog video so I thought I'd just quickly remind you where development got up to last time. So I'd been working on the basic road system allowing the user to place roads into the world the roads all had their own 3D mesh and they all connect up nicely and you can also delete road tiles from the world as well. Um, so that was pretty much all I'd done so far. So if we have a look at the plan in Trello, the roads are now completed, which means that next on the list is implementing buildings. So first up, just like I did with the roads, I want to implement the buildings in the simplest way that I possibly can into the game, and then I'll improve on it and iterate upon it in the future. So for the buildings, that's going to mean that the player needs to be able to place buildings into the world. Each building is going to have a model. They need to connect up correctly with the roads, and the buildings need to be facing in the correct direction. So the houses should be facing the road. And that is all that I want to implement for now, and then I'll add some much more complexity in the future. So I've just been planning that out and breaking it down into the individual steps that I need to take in order to implement this. The first thing that I'm going to be implementing for the buildings is the connecting to the road stuff, because it kind of follows on nicely from the road system that I've been working on. Um, so if I show you in the concept art that I've got here, you can see that the buildings, they're not standing directly on the grass, um, they're all kind of built on a foundation, which is basically an extension of the pavement. So the first thing I'm going to do is to build these extended pavements into the existing road system. I've just been adding the, the basic concept of foundations into the road system, and just to test it, I've made it possible to place them into the world and you can see that's all working fine. Um, obviously, the next step is to get them to actually connect up with the pavement parts of the road. And uh, if I show you in the code here, this is the code that's going to be in charge of doing this. This generates the mesh, the actual model of the foundation. And at the moment, you can see that it's just always creating that simple cube shape. Um, so what I need to do now is to get it to take into account what objects are around it and then change the mesh accordingly to connect up with the other objects. I've been making some good progress on the foundations this afternoon, and they're now connecting up quite nicely with the pavement. You can see they match up perfectly, and um, this works very well on the straight roads, but there's still a little bit of an issue on the curved roads, and the reason for this is that I can't just extend out the corner of the foundation, although it would work in this situation. Um, you can imagine if the road had a thinner pavement, then that corner would go into the road, um, which obviously shouldn't happen. So what I'm going to do is to get the road mesh to connect up with the corner of that foundation. Um, but that's something that I'm going to do tomorrow. I've been getting back to work on the foundations this morning and I'm getting close to having them working now. The corners are fixed, as you can see here. If I show you in wireframe mode, you can see how the mesh of the pavement extends to meet the foundation and that fills in the holes that I was having. And um, in all the simple situations, the foundations connect up quite nicely with the pavements. But as soon as things start to get a little bit more complex, like here, there are so many different ways that the pavements and the foundations can connect and a lot of them are still causing little overlaps, little corners poking out here and there, which doesn't look particularly nice. So I'm still working my way through and trying to fix as many of these issues as I can. So after a bit more struggling, I'm starting to realise that I might have gone about this the wrong way. At the moment what I'm doing is if this is a road and I place a foundation here, I'm making the foundation stretch out to, to meet the road. And I think I probably should have done it the other way around and had the pavement of the road extend to meet the foundation. Because at the moment, a lot of those overlapping issues are to do with the foundations being different sizes to each other. So 
I'm gonna get outside for a bit, go for a run, clear my head, and then when I get back, I think I'm going to pretty much redo everything. So I've just finished redoing everything and uh, it wasn't too bad actually, it went a lot quicker this way around, it was much easier to do, I think it makes a lot more sense as well, so I'm glad I did it, and most importantly, a lot of the issues that I was having are now fixed. There are still a couple of corners here and there which I'll keep working on, but in general it's looking a lot better. So next on the to-do list, now that the foundations are finished, I'm going to start implementing a simple rendering pipeline for the buildings. I've just set up a really simple renderer for the buildings with a very basic shader program and if I go ahead and run this you can see I have now got something rendering. It's just a very simple cube which I've generated in the code but it is at least something. Obviously though I don't want to be generating the models for the buildings in the code. I want to be able to make the models in Blender and then export them from Blender and load them up into the game. So next today I'm going to write some code which will be able to load up models that were made in Blender. So the model loader is now all working and I've been able to load up the very first house into the game, which is kind of exciting because I've been working on the roads for a while now and uh, it's nice to finally see an actual building in the game. It feels like I'm making some progress finally. Good morning everyone, it's 8 o'clock, I'm just about to get started for the day and first up this morning I want to make some more low poly house models for the game. So I've just added the new house into the game, I'm pretty happy with how it looks, I haven't really done much modelling for houses before but it turned out quite nicely, and it's quite easy as well, um, so that's good. I haven't really decided what kind of architectural style the buildings are going to have in this game yet, but these will do as a, a nice placeholder for now. Another thing I've been kind of thinking of is that maybe I should have some sort of procedural generation to do with the buildings, just for example like randomising the window placement or the plant placement or where the door is. Um, just some simple stuff like that, so that if you place loads of these houses, they won't all be identical. I've just been doing a bit more work on the buildings, making sure that they now rotate to correctly face the roads, and now finally, for the first time, I can actually build some towns in this town building game, which I find very exciting. Also, I'm really happy with how it's looking, even though I haven't spent much time on the visuals yet. That's obviously something I'll worry about much later in development, but already I think it's looking quite cute, especially the way that the houses connect with the pavements. I think that's turned out really nicely, and um, just in general I think the low poly art style is going to really work well with this type of game, so I'm very happy with how it's going. Just before I finish off today I've been thinking a bit more about the placement tools for the buildings because I want the user to be able to see a preview of the building before they actually place it into the world. So that's what I've been trying out here and um, I've just been trying a few things out, thinking about how I'm going to implement it, but obviously there's still lots of work to do on this. For now though I need to stop because I've got quite a few people coming around for dinner in a bit and um, I need to do some cooking. So that is pretty much going to be it for this week. Next time I'm going to start working on adding some people into the game, which I think is going to be really interesting. Um, it might be a little while until that video comes out though, as I mentioned in the last video, I have got to have another operation next week, so I'll be in hospital for a bit, but I'll try and keep you updated on Twitter and hopefully it won't be too long. For this week though, that is it, so thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.